Carol of the Bells to go with that wonderful sheet music. Here is a little bit of a video explanation of it all. We started off with our ostinato pattern and we're working around, you can see it here, middle C and treble C and we're going start, down a second, up a second, down a third and that's pretty much the motive for the whole song. Start, down a second, up a second, down a third and we're working with those ones are quarter notes and these are eighth notes. So we're working with the da, 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 da. Here I'm moving my legs there going. Da, 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 left, left, right, left. to use your fingers threes and fingers five so you get that pattern in your hand for the next bar five to eight where you match them up the other way around then we played our a minor chord in the left hand this whole piece the home chord is the a minor chord it's in the key of a minor How do you read that? Well, we know that here we've got a third below your high C and here got a third below your treble C. So it's going to be an A here and an A there. And this is also what an octave looks like. Remember, when they go from line to space, they're always going to be an even number. This is a large distance. And if you see a large mismatched distance interval, often it'll be your octave. Usually it'll be your octave. Whereas these ones are matched, there's your seventh. Here is your sixth. You get used to the difference between sixth and eighth and fourth pretty soon. Whereas the matched ones, seventh and five and third. Third goes from one space to the next space. Fifth got an empty space in the middle. Seventh has got two empty spaces in the middle. And there is our little pattern that's nice to do with pinky, 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 four, three, two. And then we do our second line again here comes a new little pattern you can read it nicely it's got four chords in the left hand and those four chords we already saw also in bar 13 to 16 a minor chord you can see that it's got the middle C in the middle here it's got the middle C at the bottom here it's the second above your F line and here we got the middle C in the back and the, at the bottom again so we've got our A minor C G A minor you can throw these little pattern lines in there whenever you like then we're gonna get a little walk down pattern which goes first play it you'll find that you run out of fingers so a nice way to do it is five five four three two then jump to your pinky then you got your fingers where they need to be for the rest of the phrase goes with the same chords C G back to A bar 29 we're gonna do the pattern in the left hand the right hand now is gonna start walking down in chords the second time it even walks down nicer it walks down in inverted chords so instead of playing your A chord we're now gonna play our inverted A chord. See that pair of thirds with an isolated fourth. It's this chord here. You can see that the bottom two notes are the same as the top two notes here, but there's another note, a fourth above that. Typical look of an inverted chord. And to help you remember where it is, it's just your inverted A minor chord again coming down. <laughs> your five section because now we're suddenly working with that E chord see you're playing an E in the left hand E chord there is your bottom note it's just a second below your 
F line and the middle note is sharpened like it should be for any of our E rainbow chords. And our little walk up is going to be walking on the black notes. You'll see those two sharps in front of it. So we got an E. And then you may as well put your hand in this position for the next five notes. Here we got it. We've got our start and then up a second, up a second, but these two are sharpened. And here we've just got five notes going up and down. Da 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 da. And da 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's two quarter notes there as well. And we play that twice. Then twice we just play. And then we play the first pattern again. Then we're back to twice. Then we're back to our old pattern, but we're going to create a sort of a one, two, three, an add nine sound. And the nicest way to do it, if you can reach it, is by um, using your whole hand, doing an octave. Let that ring through with your pedal and then just move your finger two and finger, finger one above your top note. And then we do the same thing on the top part of the pattern. got our E section again and just for something slightly more complex we're gonna add in a little run in the left hand which uses the same note but like an envelope starts in the middle and then goes back to the middle so you're going th from your third finger to the top all the way to the bottom back to your middle finger and play that one twice when you put them together you just have to do it really slowly when you play your last note in your right hand you repeat your last note in your left hand then we're back to our old pattern of treble clef comes in and we're going to take this up a little bit to um, go up an octave do it again so now we're working with exactly the same pattern but we're working with two treble staves so this one is a third above your treble C and this one is a third is your on your high C and then this sign here, the ottava sign, that goes with the dotted notes all the way to the end, is a nice way to show that we then take the pattern again. We're going up. It's actually slightly different. You notice that it's just C's. High C and treble C now become high C and super high C. And that is what you do to finish. You go all the way to the top of the piano and you go... And then you can play an A minor chord with both hands and the top one is inverted. Or you can keep doing all sorts of different variations of this wonderful song. Enjoy!